Hello, and welcome to another vlog. For those of you who have been watching the news in recent months, you've probably heard that there are many nursing homes across Canada that have been dealing with major COVID-19 outbreaks and that a lot of people have lost their lives. And about a month ago, the military was called in to a number of care facilities in Quebec and Ontario to help manage the situation. And then this past week, the military doctors released a report essentially condemning five nursing homes in Ontario for what's been described as horrific living conditions. Now, I'm not going to read the report in this video, but I am going to share a link to it in the description below for anyone who wants to read it, but be warned, it's not for the faint of heart. And upon seeing that report, I knew that that was something that I needed to talk about. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, I want to start off by making it very clear that the situation that's happening in these long-term care facilities across the country was not caused by the COVID-19 outbreak. As a matter of fact, it's a symptom of an even larger problem that has existed for a long time that has been exacerbated by the pandemic. And that's what's brought us to the situation that we find ourselves in now. The disabled community has known for a very long time that long-term care facilities are understaffed and underfunded. And that's the main reason why we've been fighting for so long for accessible housing options for people with disabilities, because we know what the conditions in some of these care facilities are like, and we've been trying to solve the problem the best way we can. And over the years, the government and our leaders have promised many times to create change. But oftentimes it's just lip service. And when the time comes for them to act on those promises, they come up with some ridiculous excuses to bail out, usually relating to money. And as a person with a disability, it's disheartening because it makes us feel like we're disposable and like our lives don't have value, which just isn't true. And it's time for us to stop sweeping this problem under the rug and turning a blind eye to it and actually to act on. And once again, we find ourselves in a situation where our leaders are pleading and promising change. And so we find ourselves at a fork in the road. We have a choice. We can do nothing or we can act. Now, for me, the choice is clear. We need to act. I personally believe that had these long-term care facilities that we're talking about had access to the supports they needed, that this situation could have been better managed and perhaps the outcome wouldn't have been quite as grim. And we find ourselves in a situation where we have a rare opportunity to hold our leaders accountable. And that's exactly what we need to do. But how do you do that? Well, what we need to do and what I'd like everyone watching this video to do is to go to your government representatives and tell them that you don't like what's happening in these long-term care facilities across the country and that you want things to change and continue to hold them accountable until they finally act on those promises and make the necessary changes. Because that's the only way that we're going to make things better. And of course, following the principle of nothing about us without us, people with disabilities need to take a leading role in that initiative. Um, because people with disabilities and seniors are the ones who are most affected not only by this pandemic, but also by the lack of disability supports in general. And we need to be united in this cause and we can't give up because if we're complacent, then things aren't going to change and they need to change. Too many people have, have died for us to give up and it would be an insult to their memory if we stopped fighting now. So we need to get out there and act. So what I'm asking everyone to do is share this video with as many people as you can using the hashtag not without us so that we can spread awareness for this cause and encourage more people to act on our behalf so that we can finally make things better for people with disabilities and seniors who are living in long-term care facilities. 
anyway, that's really all I wanted to talk about today. Uh, as you can probably tell, it is something that I am very passionate about. Um, I've always had a fear of living in a long-term care facility and what's been happening during the pandemic has really just added to that fear because I don't feel like a nursing home is a place where I would thrive and seeing what the conditions are like in some nursing homes across the country uh, has made me very wary about living in a facility like that. Anyway, as always, if you enjoyed today's vlog and you want to see more videos like this one, then please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to help me to make more videos like this one, then please support me on Patreon. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you next month.